The summer has passed and we are in the heart of autumn. I guess for most of us, this summer came with some special challenges. I have to admit that it has been a tough time for me as well and now already three months have passed since I've made my last vlog. It feels like an eternity and I don't really know where to start and where to end after all the big and small changes we've been going through. But the very first thing I want to send to you is a warm and deep thank you for all of your support. During the last month and of course especially to all of you who participated in our crowdfunding. This literally changed the whole game for me because I have so much more possibilities regarding the winter shelter of my cows. But actually I have to tell you that I could not get access to the money yet because of one stupid little mistake with one damn piece of paper. So <laughs> that's stressing me a little bit, but I will figure that out and as soon as I can I will offer all of you the gifts that you have selected. But what has been going on during the last month? Of course, way too much to put it into one video. This summer was filled with so many adventures, experiences and challenges. As you probably remember, one really important topic has been the disease of Peppino. Since the last video, so much has changed. We've gone through so many struggles and I actually thought that he would die. Nothing that we tried out worked properly, until we figured out that he has somehow developed an intolerance for fresh grains. I mean, <laughs> that's crazy and when I've understood the whole topic a bit better myself, I would love to share more about that with you. But right now, after a couple of weeks of a changed diet, Peppino is finally doing great again and I could not be happier. I can finally see that he is getting stronger and the most wonderful thing of all is that his hair is finally starting to grow again. I'm just so, oh, I'm just so happy. His beautiful little hair. I'm so happy. Someone else who has been really sick in the beginning of this year is Lottie. As she was sick, I've been telling her every day during the treatment that if she would get healthy again, I would make it possible for her to live free outside. And now, after she recovered fully and I fixed some preparations, she's living freely together with the chickens and the ducks. She is happier than ever and the only risk might be Zora. The younger dog of my parents, who's having a hard time to control her instincts. But so far it is working well and Zora is doing her absolute best. Someone else I might give you a little update on is Daisy. Sadly, her disease is still a part of our life, but I think we are finding ways to deal with it as good as possible and I can clearly tell that she's still enjoying her life. Even if you might already know that from Instagram, the most exciting news is that we got a new family member. 
Actually, my dog Matti made a hell of a lot of mistakes when she was hatching her eggs and in the end she didn't even take care for them at all. So I ended up with this one egg and out of it I got one weak little duckling. The first couple of days have been tough, but now the baby is strong and growing well. You tell me you're scared You tell me you're Since I've raised Matti by hand and called her my daughter, I'm officially a grandmother now. <laughs> You're afraid I wish you could see that I think you're brave Something else that happened just a little while ago is that we got visited by Morgana, a singer and songwriter, and her film team. Alex and David from Leora Media. We've spent some great days together and they've recorded a music video. These are some outcuts and I'm really excited about the video, which will come up in a couple of months. As you can see, there's a lot going on. And right now, I'm mainly focusing on getting shit done. And I mean it. My life is mainly about shit. I'm pouring all my energy right now into the winter shelter for the cows. Which is a lot of work, and till now I'm still busy with cleaning and removing the old stuff. Lay your head on my chest. Thank you. 
It's over now, so don't despair. The world could fall down, but it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, but we're gonna be okay. Before the blue skies make too gray, we're gonna be okay. That's really a big mission, especially because I'm doing most of the work alone and by hand. So I was super grateful that I got some help by Jonathan and his tractor the other day. But the next four weeks are going to be extremely intense and I will do my very best to make this shelter stable and well working for all of us. And of course, there also is the everyday life, which needs to get done and keeps me busy until it is dark or even further. Living together with so many animals is never only easy. But I feel so grateful that I do have the power to keep us above the water. To keep moving. And to keep growing. My dear friend, take care, keep your hope, and I hope to see you soon again. Bye bye!